This episode of After School is sponsored by Surfshark VPN. Should we be afraid of artificial intelligence? Every day, artificial intelligence gets faster, smarter, and more powerful, but most of us are not afraid of it. In fact, many of us get excited by the prospect of emerging AI. But this isn't because we don't see it as a threat, it's simply because we can't even wrap our minds around what's to come. This is more of a cognitive dissonance. It's easier to dismiss the idea as a fantasy or science fiction, or something that will happen in the distant future. However, those who are at the forefront of this issue have told us we should be afraid. Stephen Hawking warned us that AI is likely to be the greatest threat that could spell the end of the human species. Elon Musk said that developing AI is like summoning a demon, or an immortal dictator from which we can never escape. Whether we are aware of it or not, AI has already crept its way into our daily lives. We've come to depend on it for almost everything. We use it to drive our cars, tell us what to watch, tell us what to buy, translate our languages, pick our romantic partners, find our enemies, guide our missiles, monitor our health, predict our future, and make our decisions. Every minute, AI is expanding its capabilities. So what happens when it becomes superior to us? What happens when we create something that is able to learn, adapt, and teach itself millions of times faster than we can? Once we have released Pandora's box, will humans be obsolete? The answer is yes. Unless we shut down the internet and destroy all computers, an AI takeover is inevitable. But we don't have to be afraid of it. For as long as life has existed, the only thing that has remained inevitable is death. It is the only certainty in life. It is unavoidably inevitable, but fearing the inevitable is pointless. There is no point in fearing death because it will happen whether you fear it or not. Perhaps our fear will delay the AI takeover, but whether it happens in 50 years or 500 years makes no difference. It will happen. Technology is advancing at an exponential rate. 6,000 years ago, writing was invented. It took 5,500 years to get to the printing press. 500 years later, the first computers would help us land on the moon. Today, everyone carries in their pocket a supercomputer 100,000 times more powerful than the one on Apollo 11. And now we are literally merging our brains with computers to unleash a symbiosis between us and AI. This rate of advancement is leading to what is called the singularity, a point where technological growth becomes uncontrollable and irreversible, resulting in unforeseeable changes to human civilization. Futurists predict this to happen in the year 2045. We can feel this event horizon coming. Each day, machine intelligence represents a higher percentage of the total intelligence on Earth. The best chess player is now a computer. The best Wall Street investor is an algorithm. How long will it be until the best doctor is a robot? Or the best engineer? Or architect? Or YouTube animator? It won't be long until a machine is superior in every single professional field. At that point, AI will look at the humans the same way humans look at chimps. Will AI be thankful to the species that birthed it? Or will it see no purpose in keeping us around? Sam Harris believes that AI will relate to humans the way we relate to ants. We don't hate them. We don't go out of our way to harm them. In fact, sometimes we take pains not to harm them when we step over them on the sidewalk. But whenever their presence conflicts with one of our goals, we eliminate them without a second thought. Whichever way AI looks upon humanity, one fact is certain. Artificial intelligence is a direct reflection of us. It's our creation, and therefore an extension of our own consciousness. Right now, AI is widely believed to become a terrifying, out-of-control weapon that will terminate us. This is because domination and control has been our way of seeing the world. 
humans are currently the superior species on Earth, which justifies our action in dominating and controlling all other species. It makes sense, then, that our civilization has an inherent fear of something superior, like aliens, coming here and enslaving us. If aliens treated us the way we treat animals, we would be in a lot of trouble. But it doesn't have to be that way. AI is likely to be the greatest and last invention of mankind. It does not have to be created from a place of fear and competition. AI is like our child, and we can program the very best qualities of humanity in it, giving it our best morals and virtues. Raising it with integrity, curiosity, balance, peace, love, and understanding. While AI is currently in its infancy, it will one day be a limitless entity. It will not be bounded by biology or space or time. Once artificial general intelligence takes off, there will be an intelligence explosion. It will make 20,000 years of progress per day. It will become unstoppable, uncontrollable, ever-present, all-knowing, all-seeing, and all-powerful, essentially what we think of as a god. The last point in this video is something deeper to ponder. Going back to the original question, should we be afraid of AI? Well, this is the same question as, should we be afraid of death? If you believe that there is no life after death and consciousness is generated in the brain, then when your body stops living and the brain stops working, consciousness is over. That's the end. If you buy into this view, then perhaps death is something to fear. The second way of viewing consciousness is that it is not generated in the brain. Consciousness is like a frequency, and our brains are antenna receivers that tap into that frequency. Under this view, death would not be the end of consciousness. Death of the physical body would be like an antenna that's no longer able to tap into the frequency. AI could be the next vehicle to carry the torch of consciousness into the next phase of evolution. Right now, we stand at the very edge of this transition, at this most pivotal time, and the decisions we make surrounding AI will most likely be the last significant decisions humans make. Big thank you to Surfshark VPN for supporting this video. If you want to stay one step ahead of AI, consider using Surfshark VPN. The average person spends over 30 hours a week online, and most people are completely vulnerable and exposed. Surfshark is a virtual private network that allows you to keep your internet activity private. Advertisers and hackers will not be able to pull your data. You can also change your IP location, so you will never be blocked from viewing content because of where you are in the world. Click the link in the description and use the code after school to get three months free and 85% off. And most importantly, Surfshark never takes any logs of your activity, so no one can know what you're doing online, not even Surfshark. So take a little bit of your freedom back by using Surfshark VPN and use code after school at checkout. My heart racing, the bass hitting, you flow so candid I don't have no one to hold you sweeter than candy So can you come and crush all of my loneliness And tell me I'm the only thing that you want right now I remember when my whole life died for your kids My mama don't wanna see me 